Welcome in fam, if you are new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam, I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We are not sign specific here, we're also gender fluid. I may say you, I'm, I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Um, this may not resonate for everyone, so please take what you need and throw the rest out. Um, today's message, I laid out a bunch of oracles and then I grabbed a handful from the bottom of my tea leaf deck and it kind of just carried on from this story here. Very interesting. Everything that I've laid out here, it looks like it's, this is a message for people in karmic energy. Okay. Um, because it seemed like a really fluid conversation. Like it was almost like spirit is talking directly to them and, and explaining like why their lives are looking the way that whatever's going on in their lives right now that they're questioning like what's going on. This seems to be the response to that question. So if you've got a whole bunch of turmoil in your life right now, this reading might be for you. There may be a message here for you that you need to hear today. All right. So let's just jump right into it. Um... It looks like there's something that someone's done. It kind of feels like repetitive action, like some lies. Somebody may have told some lies um, about work um, that resulted in them losing a job. Somebody may have lied about a job. Um, or there's something that comes out that has been done repetitively. It may have something to do with somebody's job. It may have something to do with employment. If not, it, it's mostly that whatever somebody's been saying or whatever has been whatever comes out was meant to either slow someone's progress or make them lose their job or something like that. And then I have it um, clarified by Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person. You should not cross. So for me, this kind of tells me that the energy of this person, whoever's doing this repetitive action. And really, and the thing is, whatever they've been doing, something is coming to light. And whatever is going on in their life, things are not, they're not lining up. So it's like if somebody had done all of this work, anticipating a specific kind of outcome, that's not lining up. It's not in alignment. It's not working out, especially if somebody did something that was illegal, that may be coming to light. I also, you might be dealing with um, a Leo. For whatever reason, Leo, Leo, Capricorn, um, I want to say Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini. yeah yeah okay so somebody's done something it might might even have been illegal they thought maybe that they were getting away with something because maybe for a while they did or they thought they were going to get some kind of success by doing this thing illegally or not by the book but things aren't lining up that may be coming to light But all of this results in whatever the whatever breakdown is, you don't get a second chance here. And whatever dissatisfaction you may be experiencing in your life, you're going to have to just suck it up with this Perseverance card. There's really nothing you can do about it. Literally. Okay? There is an, a level of acceptance that is required. You may want reconciliation with someone, but the connection was toxic um, and therefore needed to be released. It's not ordained by God. It's not a good thing. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the other person. Therefore, it is coming to a close. And even though you want reconciliation, part of the problem is, is that you are not doing the work on yourself. So you're in this energy of feeling sorrow, you know, over losing the relationship, but there's no self-reflection here. Um, and this is about really looking into your own heart and looking into, you know, the motivations of why you do what you do. But there's also this 
energy of not having either done the building blocks to, to create a solid foundation. Building blocks in the reverse for me is, it, it's, it's, I don't know, it's like tower energy for me. Because it's like, when it's in the upright, this is about building the, you know, it's like building the foundation, doing the work to put in the, found, you know, put the foundation together to solidify it. But it's in the reverse. It's not really putting in the work to do that, but it's not really a, a stable foundation to begin with. And so this could either be about like really self-reflecting, really looking into your own heart. Maybe put yourself in check a little bit because whoever you were dealing with made a decision to move away from whatever this was because for them this situation felt like an obstacle it felt like an obstacle it felt like there were constant obstacles um i have somebody here who made a this who may have made a decision to travel elsewhere to relocate in order to get a new life so there may be somebody here who's it's interesting i'm getting kind of same imagery there may be somebody here who who is contemplating relocating in order to have a new life they're no longer at a crossroad maybe at one point they they were kind of you know at a fork in the road literally um you know wanting to move away from okay wanting to move away from like say their family say you're you know say all of you all of your family is in one spot you know primarily everybody that you're related to and you're close to they're all in one spot right um but maybe you've always had a desire to move elsewhere it's not that you don't love your family or whatever but are you even really close with these people but it's not like you don't you know not that you don't love them, but you want to experience you want to experience something different. You want to go somewhere new, right? So there's someone here on the board who's like, you know what? Maybe I prioritize that all this up here for a really long time, and I no longer want to do that. And because I'm choosing to do something for myself, I'm gonna overcome whatever my own hangups are, and I'm gonna just go, right? And I feel like this person is whoever decided to move on. Um, I feel like they're being, they were, it's kind of like you're being guided by spirit, right? But there's a situation or something that I feel like you need to revisit. Um, spirit's kind of calling you to do that because I think every time this is cyclical, so it kind of feels like every time you get started on this thing, idea, concept, whatever, Whatever it is, it's like going around, I'm like looking at it, it's going around in a circle. So it's like every time you get ready to start, something kind of jumps in the way. So you're not able to really get back to it or you get distracted or, you know what I mean? Like some, something comes up. And so you're never really able to like actualize it because every time you get started, something jumps in the way and kind of like interferes. I feel like this person is being divinely guided back to that thing and they're removing whatever that thing is that kept stopping them, right? Like every time we got here, it was like, eh, nope, you can't keep going because there's this roadblock. I feel like spirit is calling them back to this thing that they've been trying to get started now that the roadblock is being moved. Family wishes come true. And karmic, I'm sorry, that sounds negative, but I mean, you're the other person. You have no choice but to watch this person go on with their life, travel, do whatever it is that they're gonna go do. And you can try really hard to hold on because I'm I'm seeing that like you're this person, this energy is really trying to hold on, like I mean grasping at straws, really trying to hold on to this energy, but really all you can do is just watch. So you can hold on if you want, but really they're just success. You're going to have to watch them over successfully overcome all of their obstacles.
and the reason that you're having such a struggle is because you are in the re you're in the refusal mode of you made a decision you're like someone is moving on with their lives and you refuse to heal because you're being stubborn you don't want to change you're comfortable being who you are that's fine but that all of this is the is your health really do you, do you not care enough about your health and your own well-being that you're so focused and consumed on this other person and what they're doing that you can't focus on yourself? Because right now you're in ill health and depression. It's because you're focusing outward. And I am talking to a fire sign. Spirit is trying to show you that everything that you're doing, this is not for you. It's not for you. And so if you're feeling some type of, and there is, there's disappointment here. There's disappointment. Somebody's disappointed in you, but you're dis you may even be disappointed in yourself. Why? Because your home life is in disarray. Your home life is in disarray while this other person's life is cool. And that's not what you expected. And the thing is, is that you're, I kind of feel like the energy that you may have been projecting out to people, it was, <sighs> conditional, transactional, what you can do for me, it's time to grow up. Because what you thought was a permanent fixture in your life is now no longer there. Because the other person wasn't really getting anything in exchange for what they were giving. And so maybe this person has moved away from you in order to grow beyond you that sounds really harsh so my collective have compliments from an admirer protection from a powerful friend scissors disappointment in some affair which is definitely this an emotionally secure loving family is important to you and you are climbing towards success and stepping into a new experience deep personal strength and peace assure success the month of may may be of significance spirit says get back to basics and keep your life in balance as you will be playing a different role it's time for some celebration fun and enjoyment as you have Plenty of material things. And if you don't have it now, you will by June. As June may be of significance, could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini. Butterfly, a change for the better. And you'll be taken care of in difficult times. You're being guided by angels and protected from harm. And for others, a wish will not be granted. Someone will suffer personal, great personal sorrow and changes in their lives with major challenges to overcome. But know the most difficult part of the situation is already over. Okay. So let's, uh, let's grab some Kipper. Let's see where we're going with this. guys are doing well today um let's see tell me more spirit what messages do we have oh damn okay we have imprisonment gift in the reverse and a wealthy man and we have toil and labor, Judy 
education, courtship, house in the reverse, coffin, child. Okay. See a few things here. I see imprisonment. I'm looking immediately. Okay, somebody is suffering from bad health. A mature woman could be suffering from bad health. Or there could be a few people suffering from bad health. I have a, a mature woman, and then I have community, and I'm like looking at these three people. So there could be other people. It could be a bunch of people. And it's because they were trying to do something illegal against a mean female. We have an investigator of an official person who's thinking and they're concerned. Something's coming in the distant horizon because somebody's moving on in the distant horizon. They don't expect it. Sudden loss, uh, loss of privilege, lady, mature man. Okay, hold on. So at the center of all of this, I have judication, which um, talks about you know mediation of, of, of uh, conflict or whatever, right? Um, court could be something legal um, or somebody else has to get involved. I have something here about work and a relationship. This could be a relationship either being dissolved because I do have coffin here. I have house in the reverse. Somebody may need to work in order to keep from losing a home. Then I have... Um, somebody may be imprisoned or in, there's like this imprisonment so somebody may have been imprisoned because of maybe they stole a gift because the gift is in reverse maybe they stole a gift that was supposed to go to a child um there could have been an inherit okay so I'm, i don't have inheritance but i'm like a loss of a gift inheritance is usually a gift so if it was me upright so there is a wealthy man here that may have been married and there may have been a child within the relationship, not necessarily his, could have been hers, whatever. Maybe this man died and there was a house involved. Somebody worked for this house and they died. was would have had okay so somebody here was like had to like really work like work they worked hard like they maybe have worked hard their whole life you know but if they had received this gift from this wealthy man they would not be in poverty kind of feel like this toil and labor and imprisonment it kind of feels like somebody who you know it's like when you're trapped in these circumstances where you're like working shit jobs and stuff like that like that's what it feels like I mean I don't know if that's what this is but it kind of that's what it kind of feels like it's like that trapped feeling that you feel when you're working a shit job you know so like maybe somebody felt imprisoned by having to work these shit jobs to stay out of poverty right and if they would have had this gift if they would have received this gift they wouldn't have been in poverty yeah it's something it's something okay so maybe there was a divorce here because the courthouse is over the courtship and the wealthy man and the adjudication so i feel like there's something done illegally there was something done illegally. Thief. Okay, then I have thief over house. So somebody died and maybe somebody, there was a, maybe, okay. 
to prevent this child. Okay, and so journey, it's in the reverse. So somebody can't move on. Unexpected income in the reverse is loss and despair, maybe female. Okay, and there's a message of concern. Somebody's not expecting the loss. Okay, so this has come up in other readings. I haven't pulled a single tarot card, and this tells a whole ass story. Where are we? 20 minutes in. So <clears throat> I feel like somebody here, and I want to say this child. Now, the child does not actually have to be a child still right now. I hope that makes sense. It's somebody's child. We're all somebody's child. But there is a man here, a wealthy man, who potentially could have passed already. And he was married, and there was a child. Okay? But whatever was whatever this gift was i feel like the gift was for the child so that they wouldn't be in poverty and wouldn't have to work i just heard like a slave <clears throat> somebody wouldn't have to work as hard but somebody here stole it somebody here stole it and I want to say, they did it in your face. This actually came out in another reading where I said somebody was like playing in somebody else's face, like doing all the lies and dirty shit and, and like not behind your back, but in, in front of you. That's what I'm getting from this card. I never really paid attention to the thief card here. But I'm looking at where his eyes are looking and he's looking at this woman and her boobs. Meanwhile, his eyes are this way and this kid is over here snatching up his, you know, snatching up his, his watch. So literally, and the light is bright. It's like it's on. It's like right in your face. But you're distracted by someone else. So someone was hoping that you wouldn't notice this thievery. Hmm. Okay. So there's uncertainty or fear. Okay, this could be a warning of imprisonment. So maybe spirit is warning somebody. Because we initially started talking to we started talking to uh, the karmics here. Okay, so maybe there's some message coming, um, some information or some message that's coming about the loss of this gift. A message, info or message coming. being warned of trickery <clears throat> this wealthy man may have amassed his wealth from work from whatever he did for work you're gonna somebody's gonna know soon you're gonna know soon you're gonna get some help from someone who thinks of themselves as a protector there's a karmic event taking place and there will be some sudden loss somebody here I, I told you whip keeps coming out and this whip is over the thief card so somebody was stealing from you in your face repetitively didn't I say that in the very very beginning when I was talking to talking to the karmic person I was saying whoever this was was doing work and they were doing lies and all this they were doing it over and over again and they were arrogant And he 
you thought you were stopping something and you're not stopping nothing. Because this message is coming quickly and everything is going to start happening real fast. There's something long distance. There may be some travel involved. Somebody may be traveling to you or you may be traveling. Or somebody is unable to travel. Somebody here has matured, regained their peace. And then you got these three little mice over here who are over here trying to, I feel like they're trying to steal from you or somebody, I've got some people over here that may have been stealing from you again over time, repetitively. Somebody here is unbalanced, keeping secrets. The secrets are starting to become burdensome and it's making them feel unbalanced. Somebody won't change. They refuse to evolve and that's why. Spirit is saying it's time to reflect on your life. I think I said that up here in one of these other You gotta, gotta self-reflect. It's time to look at everything that you've been doing and everything that's been done. like a refusal of speaking up doesn't want somebody doesn't want to speak up or somebody doesn't want the truth coming out just doesn't want to transform it's very tiring to have to keep telling this story somebody does not want to change and you see that collective you see it you see it you see it all right um let's use this one Stress and anxiety. Somebody may be 36. Ooh, 111 may be a, sig a significant synchronicity for you. December 7th may be a significance. Um, September 14th. money spring equinox and temptation waiting for you to reach out somebody will be in a committed um, will be a committed couple and we have social media so somebody may be watching you on social media you may have presence accurate psychic ability 14 14 may be of significance we have 33 out here um, be confident, speak your truth, and energy cleansing, assert yourself. December 1st may be of significance, March 14th, October the 12th, January the 1st, January the 7th, July 25th. Soul connection. Truth teller will get back together not having sex. Take that how it resonates. <laughs> uh, take that how it resonates. 12, 12, 33, 14, 14, 11, 11, 616. Six. Jump out of this one. 
All right, I think that's it then. Bottom of the deck, ha, huh? soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. And just because some people are soulmates, I mean, we have soulmate, soulmate connection here. Just because you're soulmates doesn't mean that you're like, it doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're meant to be together. Soulmates are solely here to teach us lessons. We learn the lessons, we move on. Okay, there are many people from our soul family that we connect to. Doesn't mean we stay connected to them forever. Once you come out of alignment, you come out of alignment and you keep it pushing. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. If any parts of this reading resonated, I mean, the first half of it was really for karmics, and then the rest was for my collective. Um, take it how it resonates. You know, it may all it may resonate completely, it may not resonate at all. I don't know. I'm just telling you what the cards say. All right, anyway, I love you guys until next time. Take care.